Welcome back to the channel guys and uh, today's vlog as you can see we're outside we're in the backyard kind of kind of feeling cooped up you know we've got uh, another lockdown going on right now and I wanted to discuss something that a lot of people do well over the winter sometimes at the end of the summer but especially now when uh, you know, things are a little crazy, and uh, I guess if you're getting stir-crazy, you're probably doing this as well. And that is looking at buying, in my case, a motorcycle. And for me, I just want to talk about uh, an experience that I had recently and, you know, answer the question of how awkward is it to go and shop, you know, whether it be just window shopping, you know, you're looking at uh, a new bike or any vehicle really. But for me, I just wanted to, to talk to you guys about my experience. And I went to a dealership recently because I'm looking at getting an upgrade from what I currently have, so my 400. And one of the reasons I have waited so long to really put in a, uh, not necessarily an honest effort, but a great deal of effort into finding a, you know, an upgrade, not, not a replacement. I'm not looking to sell what I currently have, but basically it's really come down to my experience of riding, how long I've been riding for, um, and that is a direct in, uh, indicator when I go for my quotes for um, for my insurance. So inexperience, uh, your age, some other different factors, you know, the brand of motorcycles that you're looking at, that type of thing. And so recently I've discovered that going with a non-premium brand, so like a, a Japanese bike, whether it be uh, Suzuki, Yamaha, Honda, um, Kawasaki probably as well, but I haven't really inquired about those. But basically, any one of those manufacturers, the pricing for insurance seems to be a lot less. And you can get still, you know, almost a thousand cc bike for a pretty reasonable price, even with someone who has, you know, only a few years of experience riding and has their M2, which is my case. So I'm actually in my fourth riding season right now. And, you know, when I got the the insurance quote for the bike that I'm looking at, which is actually the Yamaha Bolt lineup. So for anyone who's familiar with those, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And basically it's a cruiser. I guess you could say it's very similar to a, um, a Harley, an Iron 883, you know, sports to her. And because I work at Harley, obviously my first go-to was uh, an 883 or 1200. And with with insurance basically saying yeah you know it's it doesn't matter where you work or whatever there's no real advantage to working at Porsche or BMW or something like that and saying to your insurance company well I worked there so give me a good price because that won't happen so unfortunately for me you know working at a at a dealership that's you know it's a premium brand I mean there's the convenience of you know, being able to order your own parts and have them, you know, waiting for you. Like if, if you order parts when they arrive, you're already working there. So that is a convenience um, if you want to go that route, but you're going to pay more in insurance. So for me, that ended up forcing me to look at the Yamaha Bolt lineup, which also consists of the C-Spec, which is a cafe racer uh, styling and the SCR 950, which is the Scrambler edition, which a lot of people make reference to Steve McQueen on. So those ones are actually pretty affordable for insurance. And so again, my recent experience of going to the dealership for, um, to actually look at these bikes, I found that it wasn't like, I had, I had to get there in a, a specific amount of time because it was in another city. So I got there 
just before closing and the salesman was really accommodating so I'm actually gonna link uh, the place down below and I highly recommend going to this guy who's he's actually uh, really nice he's actually uh, an instructor as well at one of the uh, writing uh, courses institutions I don't know how I really call that but uh, I'll link that probably down below as well or in another video I'll probably talk about that and for motorcycle training for you know improving your riding skills getting proper training and he was really accommodating and stayed an extra like 30 minutes after they actually closed so I really appreciated that and and it's I mean you have to wear a mask or a face covering whatever right so I was wearing that and my face shield was fogging up the whole time and so to answer the question is it awkward window shopping or bike shopping whatever you want to classify it as uh a little bit yeah it's a little bit awkward you know and especially since you don't want to be you know shaking hands and actually with me i don't know if you guys can tell but my hands get uh really dry in the winter and so on that particular day my hands were actually uh cracked and bleeding so there was no way I was shaking anybody's hand because that was just that would have been really painful for me so that also added to the uh, awkward situation that we're dealing with right now but you know even even with the the masks and everything else and other uh, you know um, limitations in place safety measures um, I think overall it was still a, a pretty good experience you know salesman was really accommodating really nice um his name was bob and uh yeah really nice guy really nice to deal with um helps me out a lot and, and the thing is i haven't even figured out which bike i'm going to be going with and the reason for that is because he had all three bikes there he had the yamaha bolt he had the C-Spec, and he also had the SCR. So all three bikes. And I sat on all of them. And insurance doesn't really matter too much because they're, they're all basically the same bike, just different uh, styling. But sitting on them, like, I, I mean, when I bought my first bike, it was pretty straightforward. It wasn't... Uh, it wasn't like I was hemming and hawing and, you know, just, there was no real other bike out there that I wanted. It was very, very easy to decide. And right now with all the pressures and, you know, I, even him staying late an extra like 30 minutes after closing um, to go through all the options with me on, on all the different bikes and allow me to take a few photos, um, you know, it's, it's not it's not easy you know it's still something where you need to take your time with so as awkward as it is um with wearing masks and everything else and having a hard time understanding when you're having a conversation you know you still need to take your time with it and don't rush the process you know if you want to deal deal with the uh the salesman over the phone or through emails i mean I know that a lot of people don't like that, especially salesmen, because they're like, oh, well, if someone's making me an offer uh, over the phone or by email, it's you don't know how serious they are because they're not actually coming down to the dealership to discuss that. So I understand the hesitancy um, with that, but considering what, what we're dealing with right now, I feel like it's it should be you know, there should be a better understanding, you know, between a salesperson and a potential buyer of, you know, if the person really doesn't want to come down to the dealership and they just want to do it over the phone or whatever, I think they should be able to do that. And the thing is, I did that with my car. You know, I, I didn't actually go see the car. I bought it sight unseen. And, you know, that was a good experience for me. So I don't see why we can't do that for, you know, motorcycles but I don't know that's just my take on it so my recent experience I thought it went well I didn't have any issues with it 
but it's still, I haven't figured out what I want to buy at the end of the day, which is unfortunate because, you know, I'm, I'm looking at all the options and the insurance was really the, uh, the determining factor for me. And, you know, as much as I would like to have a Harley, I don't think it's going to happen right now. So a Yamaha seems like the best option. So, you know, you just kind of, kind of got to roll with it. Right. You know, and during the pandemic, again, you just got to roll with things. Like I'm out here, you know, doing, doing this vlog for you guys in my backyard. Everything looks pretty dead because it's spring and nothing's really recovered yet. But uh, I needed the fresh air, so wanted to get out of the house. And, um, you know, if you guys have uh, any stories or experiences of, you know, buying motorcycles or potentially buying motorcycles or any other vehicle for that matter, um, let me know in the comments down below. Um, what, what have your experiences been like and what do you guys think is kind of the new norm or what do you think is acceptable for when you're trying to make a deal on uh, a purchase. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, again, leave some comments down below. Let me, let me know what you guys think of this topic, you know, buying stuff in the, in the pandemic and through lockdown and kind of what the procedures have been like for you or what do you say they should be? What do you like? What do you dislike about it? And um, if you guys haven't subscribed already, consider doing so so that I know that you guys are engaged and like the content that I'm providing for you. And you'll also get notified when I post another video. So that's it for me today out here. And I think it's 15 degrees. So it's pretty nice weather. The glasses might be a little excessive, but I uh, figured it would be easier for you guys to tell which way I'm looking. So you don't think that I'm looking the wrong way like I did in my other video. So. That's it for me guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one.